everybody. It's the Shockfest Radio Hour. We have some exciting announcements for you today. Today we're going to be talking about how you can win at Shockfest. The control is in your hands. Tickets, and we'll be talking about some honorable mentions and nominees. We got another announcement for you today, guys. While I begin, I want to take a moment to encourage you to write your production in the comments. Shameless plugging. Shamelessly plug your work in the comments. I want you to sh constantly post all of your stuff in the comments until we're tired of it, because we will never be tired of it. Here, the shot radio. This is your shot best radio hour! Can you erase this? What you listening to? 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 The Shock Best Radio Hour. Hey everybody, it's Jeffrey McCobb, Festival Director of Shock Fest. I hope you don't mind. I'm going to pound through this as quick as I can. I've got some very important information for you, and I'd like you to be able to watch this later. And then let's hang out for a bit. I want you to ask me questions at the end of this video. And of course, constantly plug and shout out your stuff. Shameless promotion is very welcome here. All right, guys, let's begin. How do you win at Shockfest? The first thing. Ticket holders vote. Ticket holders vote on their favorite movie. They can physically vote on their favorite movie. This is an actual trophy with an actual award, an actual award with an actual trophy. And you can win this. The control is literally in your hands to win an award. Guys, if you don't know this already, which most of you do, and if you don't, you should, this industry works on metrics and data. What do I mean by that? If multiple film festivals accept your film and you've got all these freaking laurels on your poster, that's proof that these institutions see value in your movie. Tangible proof. You've, been, you've earned that. You've, you've been awarded that. You've earned nominees. A nominee Laurel does the same, an honorable mention, and an award. That's metrics and data for distributors. Now imagine if you get this, where you can physically, tangibly say that the majority of people watching your movie at Shockfest voted for your movie to be the best, win, win the best. This is the most valuable bit of metric that you can take away from Shockfest. You can take this away. You can earn this on your own without us nominating you. And, the, and, and you can actually use this to, to elevate your production at future festivals and with distribution companies and with your audience. Now, how do you actually win this? You need to get a ticket. You need to get a ticket. Your crew needs to get a ticket. Your audience needs to get a ticket. Your friends need to get a ticket. Your mom needs to get a ticket. And you need to vote on your movie. Here's how you do it. You want to get a free count on film Free, it takes a minute to get an account. Go into the link in the description of this video. That'll take you to our Shockfest page. That will be this is where Shockfest will be. Uh, it looks like this, but it'll look very different in just a few days, if not a week. So go now, just keep an eye out for that. What you also want to do is go scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. You want to go to Shockfest 2022 All Pass. This is uh, a little something like this. And I circled the, the pass you want to get. You want to go for the 2022 All Pass. Use the code page 13 for half off. Everybody should be getting half off tickets. I was very emphatic with that with film prophecy. They were very gracious and very generous to offer it. Everybody should get off tickets for that. For everybody. Remember, you want to stack the house in your favor. You can walk away with this even if you don't get nominated. And that's something you can take away. And that's proof that your film is ready. And by the way, you don't need this. I mean, forget about all this. Forget competition for a minute. Your film's valued. It was expected. You people love it. But if you want to win this, this is how you can. I just want to be clear about that. It doesn't, it doesn't mean your film isn't valued. But we want you there, guys. We want you to enjoy our celeb. We got more guests coming. But right now, we got Juliet Landau from Ed Wood and Buffy the Vampire Slayer and A Place Among the Dead, Bill Oberst Jr. from uh, Free from Hell and Criminal Minds and the man in room six. And by the way, Trevor Younger is the director of this. He doesn't know he's been accepted, but I guess now's a good time as any to say the man in room six has been selected. So uh, <laughs> if you're friends with Trevor Younger, go ahead and tell him and share this with him. He'll get the news in a few days. Uh, Deborah Lamb. Uh, Monty, I hope you're in the audience. I'm going to address the, the audience in just a second. But Deborah Lamb's going to be here. We're going to talk about Blood for the Chocolate. It's a great film. And 
I want you guys here because I want you to enjoy the amenities. As we do, we've got live red carpet interviews with you. The camera's on the moment you log into ShopFest, uh, Theater of Mystery. We've got filmmakers networking left. We've got the virtual escape room with Halloween karaoke. We've got our play games at ShopFest, Theater of Mystery. Live audience participation Q&A. You can just be professional you guys. And of course, the award ceremony. Look, if this is what it looks like when you enter, you can navigate. Just pick the room you want to go to. This is our filmmaker's room. It's one of those tables. Those tables right there. Um, you click them and you're in a breakout room. You can hang out with people and network and schmooze. That's what this is about, guys. We want you to connect with people. We've got the presentation hall. This is where we're going to be showing Q&As and then interviewing our celebrity guests. This is what shock test is. And of course, of course, you need, don't forget to take it, please. Use the code at page 13. Everybody should use the code. No one should pay for the code. Ever. Finally, we've got the Finally, one ticket gets you three months of play on demand movies. What do I mean by that? I mean, we, well, the festival's play on demand. I mean, on the day of December 10th, we're all going to be there. We're congregated. We're hanging out. But if you can't make it, everything's still available for you. You can still watch everything. The movies are available on your own time for three months. We're just asking for a ticket entry. You know, we don't want to, we're not looking to like, get this, this here. We just want to make sure you guys can come affordably and enjoy the holidays. But by the way, guys, these are real movies. I'd like to take a moment. I, 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 I'm, I'm rambling. Um, I want to take a moment uh, to address you. First of all, let me say hi to you guys in the comments. What's going on, Billy? I'm sitting in my ShopFest t-shirt, man. I'm so happy to hear that. That's so cool. Sarah, it's great to see you. Uh, hey, what's going on, Ray? Ray, the creator of Wankster. I love Wankster. Hey, everyone, tune in. To the hey, look, guys, please shout out your stuff. It's so important. Um, I have something to say to you uh, who might not be sure if you're going to get your ticket yet or you, or you don't know or you don't know if you're available. Uh, we're about to announce honorable mentions and nominees, but I want you all to listen to this because I want to have some real talk as well. This is important. We've been doing this for about 14 years, a long time. And I want to be clear about something. I know you. You, watching this video right now, even if you didn't, if, if you got your ticket, a lot of you got your ticket. We got, a, we got triple digit attendance, guys. But I know all of you because I've watched every single one of your movies. Our judges watch the movies, but I've sat there and watched every, all year, thousands of movies. I know your work, and I know who you are. You're a passionate freaking creator who genuinely cares about telling good stories. Or just making good old-fashioned entertainment that people connect with. You value the one thing this industry claims to value, but doesn't seem to show it. The quality of the stories you tell and moving people with them. Regardless of how seasoned you are, how long you've been working in this business, you are only getting a fraction of the attention and respect from this industry that you deserve. And I'm here to validate you. As is everyone in attendance. Guys, in the comments, write a hell yeah if you agree. Everyone in attendance is here to support you. Because we are all in the same boat. And everybody in attendance at theater of mystery. They care. We're real part of here. We have judges. I've watched your movie. I've seen your movie. I know you. I know your work. And you dare to move people. The stories, the way that the previous generation of storytellers moved you. And every day, even when life knocks you down, you refuse to quit. Because this is what you do. And this is what you are good at. You literally can't help yourself from spending your time, your effort, your money, your blood, your sweat, and on many occasions, the quality of your lives creating these movies. And not enough people are experiencing them. Again, everybody in attendance at Chalk Fest is in the same boat as you. You just saw what this platform looks like. Cameras are on as soon as you log in, unless they're welcome to be. You don't, you're not obligated. But it's there. Everything in this show is designed to 
to put you in a position to have karaoke, the networking, the cameras, the, everything, and to meet new people. And everybody who's going to be there is a working professional or a genuine fan. They all want to be here to mingle with you. You cannot raise the quality. You are all directors, producers, writers, actors, editors, and you need to be in attendance with your fellow peers. I have a take, a hot take for y'all. And I, I think you'll agree. If you submitted to shock test, if you got in the shock test, if you submitted your assets and metadata to shock test and you didn't get a ticket, you are leaving money on the table. You've already jumped through the hoop. You've had your movie judge. You paid the fees. This is what it is all for. Community and to network. It is your obligation to be at this event and scoop up the triple digits of attendees who are all genuine fans and genuine filmmakers into your fan base or your role. This is your show. You have to go. People attend our festival. They connect and they make movies together and then they end up committing the shop fest next year later with films that they made it because they met here. Even on our virtual show. Take that opportunity. Spend the day with us on the festival. With your fellow artists and colleagues who are just like you. If you can't make it, the entire show is available for three months. You have access to everything from the games to the escape room to the virtual filmmakers lounge. You can actually meet up with people later, but like, hey, let's meet up with Doctor. And you've got three months of movies made by actual movies that care about the world. That's what you think. Why have you not? You can write me comments. You can email me. I want to help you. If you're busy, like I said, the book is available. It's meant to be scheduled. It's meant to be consumed like this, but even alive. If you're in a country that's been sanctioned, like Iran or Russia or Cuba, you can email me. I'll hook you up. I want you there. If you're in, in a war torn country, like Ukraine, same deal. Email me. Guys, if you lost your job, and you can't pay thirteen dollars. Just email me. With it. I want you there, and you want to be there because this is going to benefit you. Now, I, I just had to throw that out there. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are. It's time to make some shout outs. It's time to announce some honorable mentions of screenplays. We're going to be doing some screenplay announcements today, by the way, and we're going to be announcing some what we got here. Justin Landsman expects some black leather gloves, bright red acrylic paint, blood, and a diverse mystery of traffic. I believe he's going awesome. This is what I'm talking about. You guys are so freaking passionate. Natalie, we've been talking about young Dario for a, a while now. It's, it's, it's very fun. It's a great thing. Young Dario. A little bit of Hollywood motivational and movie speeches. Oh, that's awesome. Manny, it's great to have you. Guys. Let's do some honorable, let's do some uh, honorable mention announcements. I don't want to waste this time. These are screenplays specifically. If you're a screenwriter, this is for you guys. And we're going to be posting this on social media. And if you win an honorable mention today, you are still qualified to earn a nomination at Shockfest. We're going to be announcing the screenplays at Shockfest. So you've got to get a ticket to that too. Remember, you can get a ticket in the description. You know, I'll pop up that here. Um, follow get your ticket now. Uh, um, also, if you didn't get announced today, you still we're still announcing more uh, Golden Reel Awards and nominees at Shock Fest too, so you're not out of the running yet. So without further ado, let's announce the Golden Reels for the screenplay. Ethereum by Libby Edwards, Alone on the Beach by Simon King, Amputee by Eric Stump, Bell Tower by Jason Sheedy, Beneath the Trees, Beneath the Trees by Jason L. Morris, and Sophia M. Taylor, Coalescence by Jason Miller, Concrete Wings by Beverly Gendera. That's a fun, fun script. Club 47 by Adam Fisher, Two Applause by Benji Wellman, Frida by Lorenzo Colana, and Giada Mazzoleni. I, I, what's your name? Uh, Ghost Town about by Joe Key. 
Good Guy by Brian Jean White, Little White Lies by Sherry Sussman, Malice by Evan Hoyt Wasserfield, Mortgage, Demons, and Death, the Anthology by Paul Rowe and Dan Quag, Quickly, and Andrew, uh, Andy Carpenter. That's a lot. Uh, no One Believed Him by Lovely Ann. Well, that's a lovely Ann. Um, or, or Read by Lee David Copeland. We it's great to get to read your work. Creature's Daughter by uh, Giant Slayer by Gregory Bond, Seven Minutes by Robert Cassetta. I love your work, Robert, and I'm so glad that you came back to uh, Simulation by Peter Dang. Snow White from Queens by Diana Lee Woody. Ah, oh, Diane, it's been a pleasure knowing your work hosting over the past couple of years. Sucks to be you by Andrew Pignon. Andrew's a he's a shock test winner from a few years ago, too. Storage by Nicole Bird, the Demon Ladies Book Club by Tanya Ebby, Amy Landon. The Devil's Grave by Stephen Aguilera, The Entente by Martin Emil and Norman Daniels, and The Happy Man, What Lies in the Valley Below by David O'Neill, The Lost Boys by Craig D. McInnes, The Macabre by Rolf and Team, Eric Mathis, Brian Lewis, Christian James, The Puppet King by Duncan D. Pickham, and The Slasherette by Anthony Montrelli. Congratulations, screenwriters. We're not done. We've got a lot more screenplay announcements, so keep an eye out. And we'll be posting some social media and we'll actually be tagging you. What's going on, Bev? You're here? Hey, good to see you. Andrew, you're here too? Oh, what's going on, Destiny? You're so You're my friend. Hey, what's going on, Luigi? Uh, we got a question. Hey, question. Will filmmakers get analytics on how many views their films got, et cetera? That's a great question. Dave, I'll be very transparent with you. I don't know. But I'm going to ask them off because it's a really, really cool idea. Um, if, if, if I can make that happen, I will. I can't promise anything, but that's a cool idea. Okay, thank you for the uh, if you've got questions, guys, write them in the comments. I want to answer them for you. We've got more announcements. We're going to do some nominee announcements. Um, Dwayne, what's going on, Dwayne? We were just on the phone a little while ago. Lee? Hell yeah. Good to see you, Lee. What's going on, Cash? Woohoo, seven minutes on. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Okay. Let's do some shout outs of posters. I asked you guys to email me your posters. Uh, before we do nominees, we're going to do this. We're going to show off some posters. Talk about it for a minute. Uh, I got more at the end, but I'll do the first half. Now, The Cookie Cutter is a film that was made in shock. That's a really fun animation. Very cute. Some visitors, very, very entertaining film. The Fragile is a screenplay, actually. Um, oh, Destiny, you're in the comments. Christmas Flasher. Destiny, I'm waiting to see this movie. You've been working on it for a few years now, and I can't wait to see it. So uh, once it's done, please hit me up. I'm, I'm excited. Uh, the Call. It, this is an interesting one. I got to say, first of all, this movie's good. Uh, the poster is very Hitchcockian in my mind, but um, I got one note. It's subjective and it's constructive. But take it or leave it. I, I wish the title was not in the rotary. Because it took me a little while to see it. Um, but it, it looks creative. It, it, it's Hitchcockian. And the movie's really good. So it's that shock that on Edge, I like this too. Uh, Frazier Lee, Frazier Lee is really good work. Uh, Tiny Shannon, um, Entity, Andrew Cruz. I hope you're in the comments. Thanks for sharing the entity. Uh, don't go in the hut. Sound advice. Sound advice. How do you go? Ooh, the last most wanted. I let me see if I can be the last most wanted. Hold on. Okay, I'm the last most wanted. That's cool. Xanadu Hellfire. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Bloodsucker Jones. It's a indie uh, indie film series that's been hitting the festival circuit for the past few years. But also, if you've been to a horror convention, you might have seen the table. Those guys are, man, they're marketing kings. I, I'm very impressed with the way they are just so tenacious. I'm very honored to have them here. I've been watching their work for a while. Good to have you back. So thank you so much. It's great. Xanadu Hellfire. The Slayer Chronicles. It's based on a book, and it's all. Tim Russ is the director, he's a Star Trek director. Very, very good work. Uh, White Eyes, this is another team that like kills it in the marketing department. I see their social media posts. They, they, man, they, they're, they're, they're posting every day, almost every day. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Keep posting your stuff. Post in the comments. Write in the comments. Subject, the famous subject. All else. Um, higher education. A fun one for me. Like the actual, I can't even. I, I see the title, and like for a minute, I thought I was in school again. Um, Bride of the Killer Pinata. Concept is really fun, very cool. Uh, Yellow's Foghorn. 
and um, a Bob's Life. Thank you so much for sharing a Bob's Life, Caroline. And of course, Public Enemy. This one's really cool. Uh, it, it, it's very interesting. They talk about cancer culture and you know, making a mistake by accidentally releasing a, 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 a masturbation video online. What does that do to your reputation as an online celebrity? Um, it, it's a good satirical piece. Uh, okay, guys. Hey, what I was just supposed to from Westworld yesterday. I was like 100. Hey, Ray. Good to see ya. Yeah, the posters are awesome. I do also like yellow spot orange posters. Not really taking them much time. We're almost ready for uh, nominees, by the way. But let's see. I want to talk in the comments. Guys, if you've got questions, please write them in the comments. Um, will there be an announcement for best animated film? Riley. Riley Weber asks. Uh, yes, there will be. Best Animated Film is a category this year. We are nominating that, but we haven't decided if we're going to nominate that early or at Shockfest yet. We do have some updates coming up. We will continue to announce more nominees, but we will also be announcing them at Shockfest. So you've got to get your ticket. You still will learn. I mean, we'll let you know at the end of the festival. Uh, we haven't decided yet if we're announcing that category before the show, but we will announce it. It's not in my uh, is it on all day event or is it a part time to tune in? Uh, we haven't released the schedule yet, but right as of now, it's looking to be like um, a little. We're, we're aiming for over a half day, if not a full day. So, uh, <clears throat> it should, doors should open right now around early, late morning, Pacific, and we'll be closing up uh, the, the show, the awards ceremony, towards uh, midnight Pacific in California. Uh, but we'll be emailing you with the time and the schedule. Um, Andrew Pignon, thank you for recognizing such a view and so on. And thanks for sharing it. Andrew. It's great to um, hey, Cash has a question for Justin. Is dog fingers like fish fingers? I hope so. <laughs> uh, one thing, Jeffrey, why so dark like black from your side? Hmm? Because I'm the I'm floating head. I'm confused. Too. Uh, also, Riley Weber sharing a link, guys. Check out Riley Weber. You can see my entry right now on YouTube. So go check it out. Yeah, guys, if, if you have your movie out, we're, we're not, these are your films. These are not our films. If you, if you release the film and it's out in the public, please, I, I want to, I want to promote your stuff. Check out Riley's work. Um, I meant it's dark, like background. Yes, because I'm an, I'm an, I'm a floating head in the darkness. It's a void of nothing here at <laughs> Behind the curtain. Um, okay, folks, let's let's do nominees. I want to talk about nominees for best documentary because that nomination is a god who's moving. Without further ado, time to announce the nominees for best documentary. Nominees are Digging for Life, Chaotic Drumline, Mike Mignola Drawing Monsters, Roger Corman, the Pope of Pop Cinema, and Finding Courage and Women of War. These movies have, by the way, all, we've got a lot of amazing documentaries this year. I got to be super clear about that. But these movies, Digging for Life is a first hand testimony of an actual surviving modern day former slave in Africa. What a powerful piece. It's it, his first hand testimony. It, it, it brought me to you. Chaotic Drumline is, is about building the community, which is a wonderful drumline. I, I, believe, I believe that, I don't want to speak to them, but I believe they hit the top of the Great, great, a great film. Mike Mignola Drawing Monsters is about the, the, about the creator of Hellboy, Mike Mignola, and such an insightful piece. It, it, uh, you really get to know the guy very intimately. Uh, Roger Corman, the Pope of Pop, the Pop Cinema, if you don't know who Roger Corman is, get out from under that rock. Um, this movie, Roger Corman shares some of the most valuable insights in filmmaking ever the whole. And when I talk about that, I mean little things that we take for granted. Today. Like, don't get too careful when making a short film. Um, focus on entertainment because that's what's good in the box office. That's not to say there's no value in film. That's, that's, that's his experience and his advice. Finding courage is about a young Chinese woman who's investigating the murder of her sister or engaging in a form of a meditation that's outlawed. You actually see an interview with the director of a conference of a, of a workers camp in China talking about the murder and it's an undercover interview that wasn't supposed to be filmed. It's, it's, it's 
pure documentary, what documentary should be. And of course, women of war. Uh, some of the horrible experiences that some of these very brave soldiers, especially during Iraq, had to face in the late 80s. These are shocking documentaries. Very powerful. Congratulations to everybody. Um, no, Jonathan, don't you worry. We're going to be keeping this up too. So keep an eye out. Uh, this video will be up and we'll be emailing y'all. Hey, what's going on, Raw? Raw from Australia. Bunker, the last week. What's going on, Natasha? Natalie. Oh, what do we got here, Natalie? I want to, I want to shout you guys out. Uh, you can check out our entry, Hellswine and others. Hellswine and Hellswine 2, by the way. Uh, very fun piece of metal in our country. We also got kind of our innovation block. They make something that is almost nothing. Amazing. I love the movies in Haunted Garage. It's the most innovative films made with my people who have passion in the community. Uh, guys, if you have questions about anything in regards to shock test, please write in the comments. Like I'll answer you. Uh, shout out, uh, shamelessly plug your work. We want you to shamelessly plug your work in the comments. And now, allow me to introduce the nominees for Best Cult Film. The nominees for Best Cult Film. Inner trilogy by Troma. Um, specifically, Lily Hayes Coffin by Troma. It hatched. Knight of the Kaminaka. The Macabre. With pleasure. And Zimbabwe. Every single one of these films had a level of. Uh, um, they were exemplary. They had a level of excellence in, in, in this category, and we're honored to uh, nominate you. We will be tagging you, we will be emailing you, Laurel. Congratulations, everybody. And these are all screened at Shock Fest. Remember, guys, you have an opportunity to win, not just by our judgment, but you can control winning something at Shock Fest by buying a ticket and threading the ticket and making sure you pack the house in your favor. You can walk away with something that proves that your movie was voted the very best film of Shock Fest, and you can take that to your contributor. You can take that to your audience. You can take that to your you can take that to This is all in your control. You just have to make sure you ticket voters are voting for you by making sure your crew, your cast, your friends, your family, your mother, your father, your everybody, everybody gets to win votes for you. Because we have a ton of awards that we're really excited to give out. We're very proud of the, of the nominees, but we want to give you a shot to win something. Be the best of that. Be the reason why everybody votes for you. Now, Thank you guys for joining us today. This was a really special episode. And uh, if you are uh, watching this posthumously, um, that is currently it for our announcements. We will be going on, uh, we'll be on the uh, film free, uh, the filmocracy, not film freeway, uh, the filmocracy discord channel, uh, announcing a few more honorable mentions um, the 3rd of December. It'll be a uh, right, well, no, it'll be the 8th of December. It'll be two days before the festival. We will email you some more updates. We may or may not go live again, but we are very, very excited to have you participate. Um, I got a, I got a little bit of time. If anybody has questions, please ask me. And in fact, I'm going to go grab something because I want to show you something super cool. Excellent. This. Theater of Mystery, it's our book. We actually just produced a very limited print of this. It is a really fun little nightmare story, great for the holidays. Uh, the artwork is made by Intim, written in team. And uh, it is inspired by things like Shel Silverstein falling up and the scary stories to tell in the dark. This is the art that we're getting. Uh, it's available on the Shockfest store. We would love to um, share the link with you. Let me give you the description and the info. Uh, you can get a copy of Theater of Mystery, the children's horror book at the Shock Fest page. If you shock them, just shock them. That's that. Uh, so check it out. We would love to share this with you. It's something we built with love, and it is also what inspired uh, the Theater of Mystery theme. We wanted to uh, give you something to walk away with. It's fun. So, anybody have any comments? What do we got? Can't wait to get my uh, niece for Christmas. We're, we're, we're mailing them out this weekend. All orders who uh, ordered um, this week will be uh, sent out this weekend. 
will Demu be nominated? Uh, we you'll have to see. We're making nominations for the next couple of weeks. Uh, we'll be making nomination announcements at Shockfest itself. You got to get a ticket to join us. We really want you to be there. Um, what about short film nominations? Short film nominations. That category, I can guarantee you, will be saved specifically for the festival because that, along with best feature, best director, best actor, and best actress, are the ones that most people are here for. So we like to save it for the day of. Um, yeah, we'll be giving out more of the the, the genre one, announcing genre ones over the next couple of weeks. How do we know when and where our films are screening? Play on demand. I'd be happy to talk about that. Movies are play on demand. On the day of the festival, December 10th, we have this giant one-day live stream where we do Q and A's and the awards ceremony. Uh, but the movies are available to watch at your own pace, at your own time, whenever you want, on the platform for up to three months, and then they disappear like they were never there. You have three months to enjoy it over the holidays. You can watch them any any of them you want, any fewer as, as many as you like, as long as you get it. Uh, I came in late. No, I just made a statement about that. Uh, best actor, best actress, best feature, best short, best director will be announced at Shock Best Film Festival itself. We did just announce best documentary and um, uh, best cult film. will be posting them on our social media shortly. Uh, Billy, is my Shock Fest, uh, is my film uploaded? I love that you asked that question. I'm getting that question quite a bit. Your film, if we have not emailed you yet, is currently being published. All films will be available on Shockfest on December 10th. You will not necessarily see it until December 10th on the lineup. Some films you will see, but it doesn't mean your film is not there. Uh, I'm communicating with Filmocracy Daily. Filmocracy is responsible for building the platform. They have your films. They're working and they're uploading. They're working every day. And uh, they're keeping me posted on any films that they're having trouble accessing. And I'm emailing everybody in time in person. So uh, don't you worry. Your film, if you haven't heard from me, should be just fine unless you feel <clears throat> Um, Are you coming live again next Friday? You know, I wasn't going to, but I'm starting to think it might be a good idea. So I, I might. I might I, uh, if you guys want me, write in the comments. You want, to, you want to do this again? We'll do it again. We'll do some more live announcements, which we're going to do anyway, but we'll do it here. Let me know if you want to join us. We'd love to have you. Uh, I can't find my film on Fair Market. I, I, I just answered that question. Don't you worry. I'll post it. Um, anybody got any more questions? All films will be up by December 10th. Most of your movie on filmography. Don't you worry. Just you know, keep an eye out. Uh, cool. You can find out Matt Long. What's going on, Matt Long? Paleface. Paleface is a good movie, by the way. Um, anybody got any more questions? I want to make sure I'm here answering your questions before I leave. Uh, what is your favorite horror film? Ooh. I love the Japanese horror film Kiro Neko. I love Pumpkin Head, uh, starring Lance Henriksen. I love Suspiria by Dario Argento. I love um, Last House on the Cemetery by Lucio Fulci. I love The Lighthouse, oh, the H24 movie. Those are some of them. How do we access the Discord for Filmocracy? I'm going to email you a link. I will be emailing you guys a link to the dis dis um to the Discord Filmocracy page. Uh, you will be getting that link early next week, so expect something by Tuesday or uh, by Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, that'll be the link to access uh, that particular announcement. Also, make it to the site uh, I bought a ticket, but can no longer get on the site. Don't you worry, because the site is not accessible until December 10th. You cannot access the site until December 10th. You can get a ticket, but the ticket will give you access to the site on December 10th and after, not before. Um, so don't you worry. Just because if you're not able to get in, that doesn't mean that your ticket's not worth it. The platform, uh, it's like any other festival. It doesn't open until the day of the festival. Um, <clears throat> hey, Xanadu Hellfire. We just got a shout out your poster. Good to see it. What do you think of the thing, 1984? That movie is a masterpiece. I mean, probably one of the most perfect horror movies ever made, objectively. Prove me wrong. <laughs> um, yeah, Suspiria is a good one. Top five. Hey, guys, check out the Wayne Hill work. This movie is pretty incredible. Check out the trailer. Like, I I, I, I want to throw love at this bad this bad show. It's really good. We've been nominating short animations. Animations. <clears throat> Excuse me. Animations are all one category, but any here here's the deal with categories. 
your film is qualified for every category that it fits. So if your film is a short animation that's also a drama, your film is lot is qualified for a drama, best drama. Your film is qualified for best short. Your film is qualified for best animation. Um, we consider everything for that. So we don't have a short animation or feature animation category predominantly because we only have ever gotten maybe one to four feature length animations a year. This year, I don't know if we've had any, but we have a ton of great, amazing short animation. So the category is going to be really exciting, but we'll be announcing that. Um, specifically animation. And don't you worry, Nathan, I've got you on there. Uh, um, what's your favorite animated film or series? <laughs> Have you ever seen American Pop by Ralph Bakshi? That movie blows my freaking mind. Love it. Uh, I also have a big fan of the critics in the 90s. Terrifier 2 yet? Oh my gosh, no, I haven't. I heard the Terrifier 2 blew the house down. I heard it was freaking amazing. I, I just recently got to sit down and watch Black Phone, and I was so happy with that one. No, I didn't see Terrifier 2. Did you? Let me know who saw Terrifier 2. Write in the comments. I want to know if you loved it. Uh, shameless plug of Sarah Mayer's film, uh, The Callback, the one in Golden, uh, Golden Reel. Um, official trailer for The Five Fingers of the Dog, my film's a crime drama fiction, great. It, it, Billy, that means that your film is qualified for best thriller, um, the support is qualified for best porn, best drama. That's how we roll here. Um, uh, Undesirables is a pilot, does that qualify for a short? Uh, no, that qualifies for short. Uh, we actually don't have a pilot category, but we do consider, uh, short, uh, pilot short. Uh, or episodic shorts. We may be changing that over time, but for right now, we kind of consider them shorts. Uh, well, we like them, uh, yes, we like them, uh, too. What category will it be nominated if it does? Um, it could be nominated for any category it fits in. So as I gave the example, if it's a prime drama that's pretended to short, it is qualified to be nominated for a short, it is qualified to be nominated for a drama, and it's qualified to be nominated for a, a thriller. Um, but it's all tied to be nominate, nominated for anything that happens to fit the award. That's true for all of you. The first time doing Shock Test, I did the vibe guys. My partner, Ray Skilla, has committed to kill people from before. Great to see you, David. I'm glad, and it's good. Uh, yeah, Ray Skilla, man, we love seeing people come back. We're really happy that you guys are having fun. And frankly, it really matters to us that, that you tell us what you think, even if you don't like what you're seeing. Because we are constantly changing what we're doing. I, you're, you're a, your feedback matters. We listen. If you don't like something, we want to hear it. I'm not offended. If you don't like my face, you can say, Jeff, you're a I'm not like that, yeah, but maybe. Uh, if enough people say it, maybe I won't show up. I don't know. <laughs> Point is, we care about your opinion. Shock test is for you. It's not for me. I do this for you. So, please, we want to know, we want to hear your feedback. Ever, always. And, forever. and please, just move if you just want to hang out. Um, Terrifier 2 rocks. Terrifier, Terrifier. Who reads the script from the festival? All of our judges. Uh, we got a whole team of judges every year. Judges get a little bit. And that's people have been around for many years. Um, so, I mean, I'm, I'm paying attention to this. I, I see everything. Else in there, but, yeah, we got our team of judges. Uh, the Oracle of Film Festival is kind of the head of the screen. Play, but, <clears throat> yeah, we got, we got a bunch of judges every year. But, um, Smart Mark movie, Smile was dope. Have you seen the Pizza, the pizza Gate Massacre? No, I haven't seen the Pizza Gate Massacre. But rock out in the comments. Terrifier's maybe Everybody's loving Terrifier, too. That's awesome. Terrifier, too, sounds good. 7-7! Seven, seven. What's going on, Johnny? Sorry, I just thought you had caught my eye. I love your movie. Um, I tried Mock Fest when she just here. How does that work? Mock Fest? Mock Fest is what we call our comedy category. So, like, if you if your film was accepted in the Shock Fest and you submitted a comedy, it's going to be in what we call the Mock Fest slot. A couple of years, every once in a while, we we get our brothers up and we make turn Mock Fest into like its own film freeway thing. But this year, we're we're kind of lumping making Shock Fest the umbrella. We're going to see how that plays out. But every comedy film is under the comedy the the Mock Fest slot. Just because all the music videos are under the Rock. Uh, it, and we love it too, man. It's good to have you hanging out with us. I mean, even if you just want to shoot the shit that we're about. But please, I want to answer questions about shock. I want to help you out. Favorite Jalo. Oh, oh, really good. 
Uh, I, 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 I love House by the Cemetery. I love the Black Cat. I love Lucille Fulke. He does this thing where, like, there's always a shot in his movies where there's, like, the, the heroine's in the dark and she's looking around and doesn't know where, where what's going on. And out of the blue, just these two eyes are just staring at her from the darkness. And, oh, it gives you shivers. He's just so good at it. And by the way, Luigi Scarpa does one of those in his movie. Uh, Idel, uh, I, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Um, and that's a shock test this year. He does one of those uh, Lucille Fulke moments in his film. I, I absolutely love it. But check out um, Luigi Scarpa's work. Uh, so, Shock Fest is held in multiple cities. Yes. Um, Shock Fest, uh, we've done Shock Fest in multiple cities over the past couple of years. We've been at Shock Fest in Hollywood, Vegas, New York. We've been in Salem, Massachusetts. We've been in Amarillo, Texas. Uh, we've done live shows, virtual shows. Um, we are a free, we're a free flow. We're a traveling circus. <laughs> um, we're a traveling circus. We go everywhere. Sometimes we're in Vegas. Sometimes we're in New York. Sometimes we're in Hollywood. Depends. This particular show, Theater of Mystery, we wanted it international because we were approached by Filmocracy. They, they gave us this wonderful platform and they, they really wanted to sponsor a show and they just got it. But yeah, we do uh, multiple shows. What's going on, PM? So happy to be back this year. We're happy to have you back here, man. Absolutely. Uh, I hope I, I should get red eye contact. That would be pretty cool. Thank you very much. Um, just for, oh, Bill, you had a question. Uh, is there a picture of the trophy from this year? No, we're gonna not let the surprise. We always like surprise now with the trophy. Uh, we'll see at Doctor. Has anyone seen the Oracle lately? Uh, yes, I have. He was actually at the uh, he was at Shock Fest Monster Beautiful in Las Vegas on uh, May 26th. He was at our live show in Las Vegas. He made an appearance. Uh, um, where he may or may not be here for Theater of Mystery. I, I he's uh, he's a mysterious figure. So we're aiming for it. Uh, this guy going crazy killing people. We're talking about Supergate, I guess. Uh, director of Transformers, drastic incident. Uh, I got my ticket. That great, Jack. Uh, he made, he makes some great parody trailers. Uh, parody, actually, fan, fan trailers. Not parody, but fan trailers. Um, really fun. Uh, let's see. If you guys want to watch some cool films, guys, check it out. Shameless plug. I'm happy to do shameless plugging. Shameless plugging, Natalie. Keep shameless plugging, young Dario. Okay, guys, anybody got any other uh, questions? Any questions about Shock Fest before we wrap this up? I want to make sure I'm answering your questions. Lucio is one of my favorite directors and was a major inspiration for my fingers and dog. I can see that. I saw the movie. I can see that. And then Lucio is a big fan of, I'm a big fan of Lucio. He's a big uh, inspiration for him. Hey, Q, did you check Eli Ross Trick or Treat or VR yet? No, but that sounds awesome. <laughs> Eli Roth is awesome. Yeah, I gotta check that out. But how do I check that out? I'd love to tell me. I'd love to see in the comments. Fulci lives. Yeah, Fulci. Shout out to the Monster Mash. Great film. And Terrifier 2. Guys, I love the Terrifier 2 game so much love. It blew up my cube. And everybody is fucking loving it. That's awesome. If you like Sergio Leone, you'll love the show Rip the Falcon. Love my show Rip the Falcon. Check out Rip the Falcon. Look up Riley Rebbers Rip the Falcon. It's also a shock there. Look it up. Check it out. Uh, Five Fingers of the Dog log line in this gothic neo jalo It's a great thriller. It takes like a best detective in a perverse world merge to form the most disreputable disrupt disrupt piece of horror. There we go. Now we have Excellent. Guys, it's great to hang out with you. I'm watching Pearl later. I heard that's amazing. I, I heard Excellent later, too. So I ex um, okay, guys. That's our announcement. Thank you so much for joining us on the Shock Press Radio Hour. This was an incredible time with you. I, I'm humbled every time I get to hang out with you. This video will be up. We're going to be posting these uh, announcements on social media. And I, I got to emphasize, I really want to see you at Shock Press. I want to see you at Shock Press partly because I want you there and partly because you want to be there because I want you to take advantage of the audience. Take advantage. They're there to meet you. They're there to watch your work. They're there to hang out with you. They're there to, to support you. Shock Fest has nothing if not for a community. So take advantage of it. If you need any help, just email me. I'm here. Email me. I'm available. I read my emails. If I don't get right back immediately, I write back to you. Anyway, it's such a pleasure and an honor to have you. I will be, we may or may not be doing another one of these before the festival, but we will be very, very, very communicative through social media and through emails. So keep an eye out if you need anything to put me up. We'll talk to you. Nope.
This is your shock best radio hour. And you will raise this. What you listening to? 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 The shock best radio hour.